gonna do a quick morning yoga. Um, it's gonna be easy arm stretches, back stretches, and a little bit of um, chest, but mostly upper body. It's gonna be mostly seated, so get yourself something to drink. I got my green juice. This is celery, apples, cucumbers, collard greens, kale, pineapple, and water. Yeah. Get you something to drink, mat, something comfortable. I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes to get set up, and then we're gonna go, okay? All right. Let me check this child, what she doing? All right, let me make sure I'm in. Hey, Alexa, I need a timer. Alexa. Not you in the bedroom. Collapse them or fold them 
grabbing your elbows if you can. If you can't, just grab where you can on your arms. And move your arms behind your head. Stay here for four breaths. You might feel a little pulling in your underarm or your back area or your chest. If it's not too uncomfortable, stay with it. Eagle arms, and you're gonna 
place your hands together. If you cannot do that, just leave, leave your arms like facing the back, the, the hands facing the back of each other. If you cannot place your arm inside your elbow, then simply move your arm towards the other shoulder and hold it down with the arm, the, other, the opposite arm. Okay, so you're either here, here, or here. That's where we're at with this arm stretch. All right. Again, chest erect, back erect. Five deep breaths in. This is opening that shoulder in the back. Breath in through your nose and out through your nose. If you can. One more good deep breath in. Very good job. Release your arms. Roll your shoulder. Roll your neck. We're gonna go back together at the elbows. Gonna take the right arm and place it over the left arm and bring the hands together like this, or at the back, or placing this elbow towards this shoulder and holding it with the opposite arm, hand, okay? Five deep breaths in, chest correct, facing forward. You got this. Three more breaths. Two more. One more. Good job. Release your arms. Roll your shoulders again. Roll your neck. Okay. I'm going to get on my knees because it's easier for me to do on my knees. If you can stay seated, then you do so, but it's easier for me to do on my knees. We're going to do the same thing that we did up top, grabbing our shoulders, so we're grabbing our elbows, but we're gonna do it at the bottom. You're gonna grab your elbows at the bottom. If you can, just grab your arms, wherever you can grab them, and place your arms behind you. Grab the opposite elbow on each arm and hold them there. And breathe through it, chest erect. Five deep breaths in. Two more deep breaths. Good job, release your arms, roll your shoulders. You're gonna come to your mat on your knees. Again, you're gonna lay your chest down towards your mat, placing your head on your mat, bringing your arms together behind your back, clasping them at the arm hands, and lifting them up. If this is not something you can do, you're gonna clasp them together and hold them here. If you cannot clasp them together, bring them to your back and just simply place them Flat. You can place them flat or flat that way, or just hold them together here. We're doing what we can. If you can't come all the way up, some people can go even farther than this. Stay here, 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 whatever works for you. I want you to get the best stretch you can. Don't apply too much pressure to your head. You should 
should be relaxing into this. Not injuring your neck in any way. Just lay your face flat. Lay your face flat. And just slowly move your shoulders together and lift it up. You can close your hands like that or you can hold them like this for this mudra. I like to really release as much tension as possible from my arm, so I really go for it. Three more deep breaths in. Two more. One more. Good job. Right arms to slowly come back down if you let them up and release them. You're gonna stay in this position, except you're gonna open your knees and allow your buttocks to fall down to your feet. Moving your arms to the front of your mat for child's pose and your face and your chest down towards your mat. Stretch your arms a more. Five deep breaths here. Three more. going to keep your hip and your belly away from the mat. I'll show you. Place your arms down and then allow your chest to come down to the mat. Keep your hips and belly up and away from the mat. This is a deep back stretch for anyone who has back problems. This is one of the best stretches for your back that you can get. And the one I did just before that, the child's pose. Again, arms straight out, knees together. Pull the belly in. Lay your chest and your face down on the mat. Keep your belly up and your hips together, your, hip, your knees together. It's a deep back stretch and arm stretch. And of course it builds you, helps you engage your core, which builds your abs. If you feel some sliding, just gently move yourself back into position. Don't worry about it. Three more breaths. Two more. Last breath in. Make it a good deep one. Good job. Extend your hips down to the mat and give yourself some rest. We're gonna go for our cobra, which is just a half lift off the mat. You're gonna use your feet, lay your feet flat, point them, and you're gonna half lift your chest up and bring your arms close in together, bent at the elbows, it's another deep back stretch. Stay here for five breaths. Three 
more. Two more. Last one. Good job. Now lift your chest all the way up and come into your tabletop position. Arms shoulder width apart, legs hip width apart, back flat. Gonna gently lift into, I uh, know, gonna gently lift into cow pose, arching our head and our buttocks towards each other and engaging your core and then lower into cat pose, bringing your chin towards your chest and your buttocks, squeezing it in and engaging your core. On the cow pose, you're going to inhale, and on the cat pose, you're going to exhale, okay? So cow, again, lift it up, inhale, cat, exhale. Cow, inhale, Cat, exhale. Alexa, turn off. Cow, inhale. Cat, inhale. Cow, inhale. Last one. Cat, exhale. And come back down to your feet. Going to close this out with kick quick breathing. Come back down in your easy pose. Give a good roll of the neck, shoulders. Allow that energy that you just pulled up to get out of you, just roll it out of there. Chest facing forward, arms relaxed, face relaxed, jaw relaxed, ears relaxed, eyes relaxed, mouth relaxed, neck relaxed, shoulders down away from your ears, arms resting. Finding your center, you're listening to yourself. Find something in you that brings you peace, joy, love, happiness. Something that gives you a calm feeling and attach yourself to it. Or a word. I want you to focus on that thing, that word or that idea. And take a deep breath in. breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now slower. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope this was helpful to anybody who needed a quick warm up for their body. Um, this is something that I do. This is a part of my practice every day. That's like the beginning of my practice every day. Um, and 
to quick warm up, 20 minutes is usually about a good warm up for yoga. And getting in your body and connecting to your breath. Our breath is what creates our life. It's our power force, our life force. And the more we're connected to that, the better off we are. Um, let me see. I want to thank you guys for hanging out. Um, I'm trying to do these once a week. Um, at least 20 minutes. Something that'll introduce yoga in a different kind of a way. I know we're used to seeing it um, in non-black bodies, but there's tons of black yoga teachers. Reach out to one of us. There's a lot of us on this app. I'm going to do my best to start sharing a lot of the black yogis that I follow and know and I think are dope on my page. So stay tuned for that because there's a ton of black yogis that are amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, I want to thank y'all. Have a good day. I'll see y'all later.